Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Gloomhaven. Uh, now I've talked a lot in the past about uh, trying to save up enough gold in order to go to the Enchantress. Uh, but one of the biggest uh, things that we have uh, challenging us in that at the moment is we're, we're, our party level is only one. Uh, the party level is used to determine the amount of gold that drops from monsters on, on missions. So while we're low level, we're never really going to have a hugely lucrative um, adventure. So what I'm thinking is it's actually going to be better for us if we uh, do a little bit of buying. Uh, I'm going to get the piercing bow uh, over on Cynthia. Uh, and this is because if we're if we're going with fire orbs as like our go to um, maximum damage thing, we really want to make sure that it's going to be able to go through the shield of something. Even as a one use thing, the piercing bow is going to be incredibly useful. And at the moment, we don't have any hand items on Cynthia. So I, th I think that's that's a solid investment here. And there we go. Piercing Boat. It takes up both slots, but it's it's very powerful. Very powerful. And we could we could later look at getting something else to try and um, add a bit more utility on there. Similarly with, with Blunder, I, I was thinking we could we could have something to just add a little bit of oomph uh, in what we're doing. Blunt is quite good at ranged attacks, uh, quite good at tanking stuff. Uh, we don't have anything other than leather armor and healing potion at the moment. So really our, our options are limited a little bit. We could go for like a battle axe and, and have a potential like big hit, but we don't have any single target big hits that would really benefit from this. Whereas over on Alana, we've got the heat shield and we've got spare hand, which we can use the battle axe for. If we're doing something really big, then this or uh, something poisonous like venom ship, this could really be quite useful. So we'll get the second second battle axe over here on Alana. And that just means we're going to have to decide on what to do with blunder over time. Do we add a little bit of utility with some poison? Yeah, that seems like a good idea. We could get two poison daggers, so we've got double the option for it. We can only afford one at the moment, but it's it's a start for a little bit more utility. Uh, so uh, the, the short of um, what I'm trying to say with that is we're not really going to worry about saving up a huge amount right now. Instead, we're going to try and gear our people up so that we're in a better place in order to take on these various missions. Uh, and speaking of various missions, we know the core quests are a little bit easier than um, than the side quests. We've got a core quest up at the Crypt of the Damned, and we have a core quest uh, over at the Temple of the Seer, and we have a core quest over at the Vibrant Grotto. Now, this one's a loot quest, which would mean reworking our ability cards. I think I'll do that next time. But this time we'll go probably for the Crypt of the Damned or the Temple of the Seer. Both look like they're just combat missions. And I think probably the Crypt of the Damned will be the most straightforward from what we know. Let's, let's do a city encounter and then we'll push on to the Crypt of the Damned. You're out in the Ward of Scales when you see a crowd of people forming on the south, growing louder and more dense by the second. As you approach, you see through the angry mob a terrified vermingling being pulled in your direction by a group of gruff men. Dirty thief! A woman next to you screams, String it up! Glancing behind you to where the crowd appears to be headed, you see a disused gibbet in the market square. The men, clearly not guards, move closer. Oh, let's attempt to stop the crowd from hanging it. You keep a calm demeanor as you try to talk down the mob. It takes some effort, but the men finally agree to turn the thief over to the authorities, which stops the situation from developing into chaos. Plus one prosperity, it's all good for Gloomhaven. Another four of those, and the wealth will go up, and we'll get more items available, and we can uh, start new heroes at level three, which is kind of cool. Crypt of the Damned. Bandit archers, cultists, earth demons. They just look like pretty solid. Uh, living bones and wind demons, which have shield. So piercing bow would be quite useful on those. Let's 
let's head on in and uh, and see if we can't power through it or at least see what this one's all about an encounter on the way you're trudging through some foothills when you hear the strangest sound in the distance it sounds vaguely like wolves howling but higher pitched and there's a rhythm and melody to it you crest a nearby hill and survey the area spying a pack of vermlings standing in a circle and singing singing is the best way you can think to describe it anyway occasionally during the song they also clap and dance around um let's move closer and enjoy the music we don't need to attack them just for the sake of it not wanting to disturb the ritual you inch a little closer staying out of sight and then sit and listen they go through a number of different tunes and you feel enriched by the experience well, look at that learning a little bit about vermling culture it's a shame skarlax isn't with us the bandit commander's proclamations of a gloom do not sit well in your stomach as you search the bend in the still river. Something here holds an interest for these maniacs. You are somewhat surprised to find the ruins of an ancient crypt half covered in moss and ivy. The history of this place is old and dark. With no other information to go on, you head down into the depths. Whatever these supposed bandits are up to, you're determined to find out. Even after you stumble across a large group of them, along with some reanimated dead at the bottom of the stairs. Mm. Okay, uh, use your equip items many times. No, uh, open the door. Sure, let's try that. Loot no gold pies. No, take only short rests. Eh, we can probably give that a go. Have three or fewer cards circled in your hand and discard at the end of the so side. Burn through everything. Or have one or more monsters present on the map at the beginning of every round. This one's hard because you really need to be pushing forwards. But it does give two perk points. Let's, let's try and go for it. Uh, of course, if we enter and there's nothing there, then we would fail. But they did say there's going to be stuff at the bottom of the stairs. You've made a mistake coming here, one of the bandits hisses. You disagree. You are right where you want to be. There is some pretty nasty stuff going on here. Uh, so two elite living bones and two bandit archers. Yeah, right. What, what are we going to do? We can hit these straight away with fire orbs. So if we're going to do fire orbs, something else that allows us to... We could use mana bolt to move quickly. We've got trap over here for three damage. We've got trap over there for three damage. Let's actually have a very quick look at the map. So the map actually goes this way and then there's two separate directions to go. That's going to be hard to ensure that we've constantly got something available to fight. This is good to start us off, anyway. Blunder. How are we going to do you? If we have Rumbling Advance, that can like move you up to here. And you'll do a little bit of damage. or move you one space and, and do damage to the two of them. And after that... We could use Opposing Strike and build up for the Retaliation damage. No, because it's the bottom one. So we're using this on the bottom. What can we do? I mean, we could actually just use Avalanche on the two of them. And just smack them down, but that's burning a card straight off. Sentient Growth. Attack 2. We can potentially hit three of them if we do it right at the start. Yeah. I like that. And then over here, I think we're going to go th throwing knives. But we could also move across and pull one of the archers in with smoke bomb. We can't move and do smoke bomb. Unless we... If only we had uh, quick hands... Quick hands would let us move on the top. 
Okay, in which case uh, we will go for single out and throwing knives. Let's just try and keep the damage up. Move and attack lots. Uh, attack at range. Okay. So, straight off the bat. Hi, guys. Uh, power potion. Piercing bow. We are nuking these. Really solid. What a start. What a start. Uh, well, we can use this to move a little bit closer, actually. I don't know if it's worth us doing single out at this point. If we move up to... Um, yeah, get, getting throwing knives in isn't really going to work because of how I've positioned you. But we could move in and stab him. He's going to die from blunder moving in, though. Potentially. We'll take one damage here. We'll give it a go. Throwing knives on both of them. Nice. No damage, that's a shame. I mean, this thing is going to die, so I'm not too worried about that. Do we want to do it like this, or do we want... Let's, let's do the forced murder. So we're going to take one damage, which is a little bit of a shame. Oh. oh, I must have done it with the move rather than that. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this thing is going to attack three times. So as much as we could kill this guy, let's try and just take him out. Well... That's a pain. Hide armor to mitigate some of the damage. Um, mm, use the shield. And yeah, we'll just take the damage over there. Take the damage. Well, obviously that didn't go according to plan. Uh, if we use flanking strike to get him killed or to move. In fact, yeah, flanking strike to move. One, two, three, four. We can definitely open the next door. Uh, which means uh, we need something else to just do a nice little bit of attack. Venom Shiv? Venom Shiv works. If only I'd selected the correct move card, we wouldn't have suffered most of that damage. It's important to pay attention to what you're doing and not rush. We can opposing strike this guy after we've moved to two. So, let's... Earth and Clod, which might move us or might um, heal up. And then opposing strike. Could be the attack or could turn on retaliate. And over here, uh, hardened spikes will get us up to the doorway potentially. Or do we have anything that moves a little bit further? And reviving ether would move us in a bit further. And then flame strike to take advantage of the fire. Okay, so first up, give him a wallop. Uh, 
Open the door. Ooh, more archers and cultists. Uh, love it and hate it. Uh, move one, attack one, heal one. So they're going to come in and do a little bit of damage. And the archer's going to attack three, range five. So I think we kind of want to be, like, out of sight. Which is not exactly ideal, but it'll do for this turn. So if we're going to do Earth and Clod on you then. Of course, of course. Turn on the Retaliate. Because we're going to put you going forwards as quickly as possible. And we may as well use the healing now. Here come the cultists. And the bandit archers. Ow. The others can't do anything though. We can attack three range two. You know what, let's... Oh, it's just out of range, of course it is. If we jump through, I hope we can still attack this guy. We can, but now that I'm here, I'm thinking actually putting putting a wound on this cultist is going to be more useful to us. All right. What's next? Move three and poison with special mixture or heal self. Yep, that's good. We can use Trixus reversal to just attack and then special mixture to heal up. Over here, we want to move a little and then do some kind of ranged attack if possible. Something with a range of three, so crater. And here, it'd be good to get in the middle. One, two, three. And then freezing Nova to attack everything. This is going to put us hugely at risk. I don't think these guys are going to be able to do much. But we can always adjust our plan if, if things look super nasty. Oh, the cultists are summoning living bones and they suffer two damage. Okay, yeah, we really want to get them killed. But they're not going to attack, which is good. These guys are going to attack, and that's going to be bad. Hmm. Yeah, I did not think this through. We need to do the healing. And we'll put on Trixus Reversal. So this guy might actually live get in at least they're going to get disadvantaged to attack oh that's a good good amount of damage alright come to here And yeah, try and take out this to prevent more living bones coming in. Cool, he's going to die. Um, just because he's going to... Ah, uh, you know what? No, they do summon and then they take the damage. So yeah, this is going to stop him because he's going to take damage from the wound. It's the right thing to do. Uh, 
I mean, it's still two damage that we're going to take. Got to burn an available card. That's annoying. Let's burn frost armor. Okay, you can use smoke bomb to do a very quick attack. And then we can use flintlock to loot. Over here, we want something that's going to do a decent amount of... Actually, Dirt Tornado is brilliant if we get it right in the middle. So we need to move in, uh, keeping Swing Short, and then Dirt Tornado. And that will hopefully take out all the nearby things. You need to Short Rest. We're using Hardened Spikes. And we're going to go for Double Attack. Freezing over on stuff adjacent to us and then flame strike a little bit further away. Mm, this is going to be painful. You're gone. And we'll move up. Hopefully we'll draw some fire. Take the one damage. Burn one available card. I've obviously done this terribly, terribly. Uh, burn Icy Blast. That is so, so badly. Uh, yeah, let's burn Mana Bolt. So we could walk into here. Although they're still going to get hit by the, uh, the muddling. Yeah, let's um, let's go like this. I'm surprised these guys could. Oh no, because they uh, yeah they were immobilized last turn. Not a brilliant job with freezing over. We got very lucky there. I don't know what we're going to do now. But you need to come in and then range of two we could hit you. Or we could hit you and get both of these. Yeah, let's push up this way. Really unfortunate. But I have not planned this out well, as you can tell. Uh, yeah, it will lose Venom Shiv. Okay. We need... Throwing Knives is going to give us two targets gone. Over here, it's going to have to be a short rest. Short will lose Freezing Nova. So, Reviving Ether and Flame Strike. We've got to hope that we move fast enough. Uh, yeah, we could do Massive Boulder on you. And Backup Ammunition will let us move into the next section. Over here, we want something to move in a bit closer. Maybe to, like, here. 
Actually, we could we could do a flanking strike on you. No, we do want throwing knives. They're still stepping in will take some of the pressure off. No, it won't because these things have multiple targets naturally. So stepping in down here. Special mixture, that's what we'll do. They're moving fast. They are moving fast. So if we go for U2. Feels like a little bit of a waste. But it is two down. Retaliate will kill him. Oh no. Wait, why did the retaliate not kill him? Did that count as a, a ranged thing? Maybe it did. That was just, that was just frustrating. Get your cards back. You might survive another turn. And I say might because we're literally just gonna be burning through these. Let's get rid of frost armor. And we'll get rid of Icy Blast. But we can do Fire Orbs again. Okay, so if I Massive Boulder you, it should kill you and your friend. That's just, that's just sickening overkill. You bash in the door thinking you've prepared for anything. Before you, however, stands a creature of pure elemental energy, enraged and demonic. It takes you a second to collect yourself. As if animating the dead wasn't enough for these lunatics. I see a treasure chest over there. Um, so... It's gonna move on to... Yeah, it's gonna move three and attack three. We can take that on the chin. Ow! I say we can take it on the chin. Comes in and does something massive like that. Not so much. Okay. Flanking strike and... Use smoke bomb to move around. Over here, it's going to be fire orbs and mana bolt. So hopefully, we'll heal up a little bit. In the middle of death, doom, death, uh, earth and clod. Damn, that is one of our nice healing things. Burn it. What we want to do is we want to jump through and grab this. So we could rock tunnel to go through that. I'm just looking for anything that will directly heal us as well. Crater will get us through. So we could use rumbling advance to heal ourselves and then crater to kind of like jump through and get that. Sure. Cultists are going to explode on death if they get to move first. Oh. Suffice to say, I don't think we're going to let him. Oh, 
Or maybe I should move through here and then we'll do... No, the Battle Axe won't get both of them. We'd have to... Really, we want to be here. If I had, like, jumping boots, I would jump over and we'd attack both of them that way. Uh, what I could... No, there's nothing I can do to get the Battle Axe on it. Even pulling you isn't going to put you in a in the right position. We'll just have to kill the cultist. That's so much extra damage. What are these going to do? They're going to move three and attack one. Yeah, we can take a little bit of extra damage for the gold. Certainly for being in a better position next turn. Over here, uh, you need to do some healing on yourself. Get some fire on both of these. Hey, look at that. A lucky roll. And an unlucky one, but we got we got a decent uh, a decent spot of stuff. Right, get some healing in. What are these gonna do? No, move one and attack five. Ow. So maybe it'd actually be better to just back off. If they're only going to be able to move one, if we back off through the door, yes, we will back off through the door. Although we could burn a card in order to dodge the damage and they'd still suffer retaliate. And then next turn we could move on to this. So we're really doubling down on trying to get forced damage on these guys. Ow. Take the damage. Jeez. Take the damage. Yeah. Taking one damage, that's fine. Let's burn... Backup ammo. Ah, uh, yeah, we're definitely burning something for this. Let's burn he no heaping swing rock tunnel. Let's burn rock tunnel. It's it's all part of a tactical plan. So we're going to use avalanche to do damage to both of these. And in addition to Avalanche, we can use Sentient Growth to move an attack. Down here, Freezing Nova to try and get some damage on both of them, and Hardened Spikes, maybe for moving afterwards. Uh, Thief Snack and Single Out will give us two separate attacks. And we're moving faster than everything. Good. So, freezing over first. All right, that's not bad. Let's see what the final room has. Oh, it's not nice. It is not nice. So, Oh, this is just going to obliterate us. Wow. Wind demons, not cool. The cultists, sure, they're going to suffer some damage and summon some, some living bones, but... Those wind demons are just going to absolutely destroy us. So... Let's uh, hit you first. In fact, no. Uh, clear undo we will do this one first because we might be able to move I know we're gonna need to do two attacks aren't we Ooh, 
Oh, that's unlucky. Uh, burning two discarded cards, it will keep us in a little bit longer, but just in the sense that we're blocking the passage through. There is another chest in here as well. So this is one that I think we're, we're definitely capable of doing if I don't um, play things super badly. In the first room, I, I messed things up so massively. So, big attack on both of these guys. And we'll throw on the poison dagger just for the sake of it. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's at least get this chest. It's a trap. We've been poisoned and we suffer three damage. Hooray for traps. Uh, I'll just take the damage at this point. Okay, we got a little bit lucky with that. Uh, Trix's reversal will let us attack. And Flintlock will let us move or loot. So we should be able to take him out. You're going to have to do a long rest, which means you're just going to be a meat shield for the turn. And over here, we need to move back quickly. So let's go heaving swing a massive boulder. Okay, so scoundrel first up. Finally got this guy gone. What are you going to do? You're going to push all adjacent things, then attack to range four. But you're not moving. So if we stand here, we're out of sight of this one. That should be fine. Burn two discarded cards. Still acting as a meat shield. Down you go. It's unfortunate, but not entirely unexpected. We've got a lot to do with just two characters left. I mean, there's every chance the cultists will kill themselves like that. Uh, let's do a short rest. Sure, we'll burn Trix's reversal. It's a shame these have two shield. But what we can do is we can special mixture to move in and poison one of them. Or we can like do throwing knives. We can also flintlock one of them. Yeah, because we don't have the allies' help at the moment until the Cragheart gets across. So special mixture. That'll let us heal ourselves up. And throwing knives, we can do some, some ranged attacking. Backheart, you need to come across as quickly as you can. Mm. Burn massive boulder. So we use Dirt Tornado to move in. And we could do Sentient Growth, actually, to get some healing over here. This is, like, going to do nothing because of their shield. I 
I definitely sent the uh, the people in the right direction though. Let's um let's get extra gold while we're in here. Oh, you can see from there. I did not see that coming. Uh, take the damage. Good job, cultist dude. So the cultists are all gone. Now it's just the living bones that are left. Why is that not letting me uh, get it? Is it because it's just out of visibility? Or maybe because there's no actual enemy there. Which means that this actually is not as good as I thought it was. Oh, jeez, what are we going to do? Uh, mm. We could step in and disarm the trap. Uh, but I think, actually, what we'll do is... We'll We'll use Smoke Bomb to go invisible, and then we'll Flintlock and we'll just absolutely nuke this thing. Uh, we need Heaving Swing to move in and Rumbling Advance to provide some healing for our poor, poor rogue. So, here we go. Big hits coming. Go invisible. There goes the elite. So we've got one, two, three, four, five living bones and one wind demon left. If I'm honest, it's a bit of a hard ask. How the hell did you manage to see through that? Okay, we can we can single out and no, we need to actually get in to hit things. Single out will give us more attack, and then we could just use. We're going to be stuck in the open, is the killer of it. Let's do it like this. Uh, you're going to have to do a short rest. Um, we're going to have to burn it because we can't re roll it. Sentient growth is range three. Heaving swing, sentient growth. So get the single out ready. This just gets wasted. We're no longer invisible. Take the damage. It's not looking to push us around, so that's kind of working for us. Move in. And we'd have to get really lucky with the attack roll, but we'll give it a go. It 
it's some damage. Speaking of some damage. Okay, short rest. Yeah, I have to lose flanking strike. Throwing knives and thieves knack. Over here, it's going to have to be a short rest. Short, we'll lose heaving swing. So sentient growth and dirt tornado is... It is what it is. We're not going to be able to get through this, but we can at least do our best. Real shame we've never really got to use the battle axe. What are you going to do? You're going to move three and then attack and pull. This is going to be painful. Okay, not that bad. The healing sucks, but... Can't really expect anything else. I'd love to be able to get through to that, but that's just not going to happen. So we don't have a, a jump that would work. Actually, we can move in a little bit and get some healing going. And then we can Dirt Tornado to muddle all of these. Not that it's... It's really going to... Ah, and then we can use the the dagger to perform, like, poison on everything. That's a really nice combination. So I, I really like this uh, this group of characters together. It's just, it's absolutely brutal. Have to do a short rest short, lose throwing knives. Do what you can. You're gonna have to do a long rest. If you make a mistake, and I, I did make a huge mistake, as well as not knowing what's coming up. Once you know what's coming up, you can sort of plan, but yeah, if you make a, a big mistake, Finally, we're going to get to use the Battle Axe. And... Uh, actually... Let's try and kill this guy. Four skeletons and one partly injured wind demon. That's what's left at the end. At this point, there's uh, there's nothing really that we can do. We could like carry on, uh, but we're not going to get any more experience for a long rest. So let's just do a short rest and finish this off. And we're exhausted. This one's definitely within our ability. It's definitely one that we can do. So I think we're going to have another go next time. Um, but we are unfortunately out of time for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. And you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Gloomhaven. See you soon.